my people, my friends, and my family, Chef Delibak in the kitchen again today. Today, I'm gonna make some rice and peas. And have a nice, beautiful blade steak here. And I'm gonna patch wash it in my special Dutch pot. This pot very well seasoned. Anyway, so I'm gonna dry rub it. It's clean already. So I'm gonna dry rub it. But what's gonna go with this blade steak? Patch wash. I'm gonna patch wash this with some potato, carrots, and chorizo. Garlic and scallion and thyme and some bell pepper to make the sauce. Everything is going to cook in one pot. The gravy is not going to be separate, but the steak is one pot roast and top of is two. And three quarter way down, I'm going to put the carrots and the potato and torture in. So by the time steak already then put it in the carrots they will cook and then i'll put it in my onion my skin and my thyme because this all those things is going to dry up and the dry contain all this stuff so um that's what I'm, that's what's going to mean today so my rice and peas is on already uh, my dutchie is on and medium heat I said I put my pot, not very hot, smoky pot, but it takes time and really heat. For some reason it works better that way. And then we'll have no smoke in the kitchen or whatever like that, you know. So my people, Chef is going to get started now. Yes, my people, I'm going to my steak now. I'm going to try it with some paper towel before I put my pot. See? Beautiful steak. See that marble here? All you need is to make the steak as a dry out here. You can tell when the steak. I got this nice beautiful marble here. And then the bone here. Okay. This is my rub mix already. Yes, my people. I give it my my the first turn. You can see the color. This color is kind of beautiful. I just after the color, I just clear for it. In the next three minutes, I'm going to cover the pot. You know, that means more the curry if I get this one to cover the pot. I'm cut the curry a little bit lower. This one, you make it so warm gravy. The 
Yes, my people, everything looking good, my peeps. I'm gonna give it an next turn now. People, this is the pepper I told you about. I just picked up the tree, but um, I have my camera set up, I didn't want to move it with me. It's right inside my living room at the window. So when I finish my video, I'm just going to show you guys the tree. And it's been growing four years. If you survive this winter or next year, it will be five years. I brought the, the breed from Jamaica. I was 19, 2018. At exactly March, April the 4th, I came back from Jamaica when it's 28 April. November 2017 and come back to Canada April 4th 2018 and it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a plant three uh, sold some and a couple of seeds but sucker bus will give away some and I save this one and have it got pot it's in the same pot for four years it's still going right in there Let's see it up and ready. I like to cook my coconut milk for at least uh, half an hour. You know, you know, at the time, so uh, don't rush. You know, take the time and so I'm going to put my rice in now. Yes, my peeps. My pickles want to turn again, my peeps. For the turn again. Okay, here it's going. Wow. No water. No water at all. Make it own juice. Wow. See, I can throw it past it with my hand. You can't throw it. Okay. I'm going to 
over to 10. I'm not going to make no salad this evening. I just want to make a nice little garnish. Um, have a lot of it here already. A whole lot of it. Carrot, chorizo, half a potato. Just a little cook of small potatoes. Lots of onion and garlic and peppers. I want to dice up this tomato. You know, that will give me the most acidity to what I want in it. Yes. So pack up the flavor of it. So, I have some yellow, um, couple of yellow um, tomato from the seed from the garden. So, here, and I'll maybe use one of these tomato here and make design it. Just your garnish, I just like, um, I'm not going to make no green salad today. Because, guess what? So, so one more thing before I put my video on the table. I'm going to do this to me. Yeah, I have chocho and my um, carrots. Uh, so you go to your body break, but you can make a recording and uh, it's chocho. Put a little water, you make it in the water. So at this point, no more liquid is going to go on. So right now, for the time being. So uh, let's go forward. Same temperature, medium meat. Yeah. So in the next few minutes, um, I'm going to put in all uh, my onion and my thyme and pepper and garlic in it's my people so I'm back with um, my potatoes so I'm going to what that you now I'm just cooking all these ingredients now no more water nothing is going to go with this it's going to finish take this one time to drink his own juice and it's ready at this point I need some acid so let's go put some tomato Yes, my people, chef in the back in the kitchen again. I'm just gonna finish up now um, my patos steak. Actually, it's a bleed steak. Instead of boning it, you know, that makes it even much more of more flavoring. So, slowly, we add a, a dish you're going to cook it. Bam, bam, that's what I mean. And then I have to put a twist to it, you know. And then, you know, This is one of the medium that is not going to cover it again. So, whatever time I come back again, dinner is ready. Open my clips and rice here. And I'm not going to make no vegetable because I have enough vegetable. And this whole day was in my friends. Wow. So, my people. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Sauce, which is a 
Whatever. Ratchet piece. For the box there, for people. Yes, my people, here is dinner. Dinner is ready. and get rose, tomato, mango, and peach with a nice wonderful gravy. Rest in peace. That's the peace. People. Fourteen, thirty bucks for dinner. to share and subscribe and you know and give me the likes and just tell a friend and just watch Dallas Kitchen TV and anything you would like me to cook for you guys just tell me and no problem I can cook it for you guys man you just have to tell me it doesn't matter what as long as it's food, I'll find it, I'll bite, I'll cook it for you guys. Anyway.